21st birthday And I've been up at home Almost tried to call Don't know if I should Hate to picture you half drunk happy Hate to think you went out without me Sorry if you blame me If I were you I would Thought you'd see it coming But you never could Still haven't heard from your family But you said your mom always loved me Sometimes I go blurry eyed Small talk and you tell me that you're on fire Lights on and it's black and white Couldn't stay forever See the look in your eye And I'm biting my tongue Be the love of my life When I was young When the night is over Don't call me up I'm already under Get a little bit alone And I'll miss you again Be the love of your life Inside your head When the night is over Don't call me up I'm already under Audrey says she saw you Out past 12 o'clock Just because you're hurting Doesn't mean I'm not If it doesn't go away By the time I turn 30 I made a mistake And I'll tell you I'm sorry Sometimes I go blurry eyed Small talk and you tell me that you're on fire Lights on and it's black and white Couldn't stay forever See the look in your eye and I'm biting my tongue Be the love of my life when I was young When the night is over Don't call me up, I'm already under Get a little bit alone and I'll miss you again Be the love of your life inside your head When the night is over Don't call me up, I'm already under Call me up I'm already under Don't call me up I'm already under Don't call me up I'm already under Hello everyone. <laughs> that was my cover of 21 by Gracie Abrams. I love the way that Gracie Abrams, I um, is it Abrams or is it Abrams? Um, the pronunciation is already thrown out the window. I'm not saving it now. <laughs> I love the way that she writes songs. It's the way that I think I would write songs, like very cute, emotional, lyrically written songs that, you know, hit you in the feels and they're very aesthetically pleasing to listen to. I think that that's the kind of music that I would write naturally. I would like to be able to write crazy stuff, but I, yeah, I'm a bit like Gracie Abrams, just really emotionally written, full of personal anecdotes. Like she mentions someone's name in it, Audrey. All her songs feel really, really personal and she writes them from a very emotional place. And I think that just makes me love the songs. I, I've said this, a million times I'm all about the lyrics of a song and with Gracie Abrams songs I think that they're just so emotional no matter what the song even sounded like I think I would like it anyway because of the lyrics I feel like they've always got this emotional depth to them and I think that that's something that I personally look for in music this cover was quite hard for me to film I love singing this song and I'm like it's perfectly in my range but I went to the dentist today <laughs> I got a feeling and um, they numbed like my gums and everything. The anesthetic, 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 oh gosh, my English today is just not happening. <laughs> it's still wearing off. So um, the side of my mouth is still numb and I have like slightly a bit of a lisp and I look a bit funny. And it was quite distracting when I was trying to film this cover and I would just lose track of where I even was in the song because I'd just be thinking about how numb my face feels. So this cover was really hard for me to film actually. I filmed it like 
20 times before I think that I perfected it. But um, yeah, so sorry if I look a bit funny or if I'm just making a scrunched up look in the side of my face. But um, it's honestly been like four or five hours since I've been to the dentist and yeah, an aesthetic, an aesthetic, aesthetic, oh, no, not aesthetic. That's a different word. It's supposed to wear off within like three hours or something like that. And it's been like five hours now and it still hasn't worn off. Well, it's, it's gotten a little bit less numb, but yeah, I had to film the color cover. Otherwise it's going to start getting dark. Film the cover now. I was running out of time and I was like, I guess I'll just um, film the cover as I can't feel half of my face. Anyway, back to what we were like actually talking about, you know, like the song and the whole reason that we're here. Like I'm pretty sure I was reading like produced with like her and her friends. I'm pretty sure I may be wrong. I think she might have released it independently. I could be wrong about that. From like what I've seen on social media and what I've read about, it was a very personal experience and she'd been working on this with people that she was very close with. So not only are the songs so emotional and personal, Personal, but I feel like the way that she went about it also was extremely personal and emotional. She's got like a sense of relatability to her fans as well because she's just like a normal girl who just writes songs and I think that that's what she tries to show through her social media and stuff. Um, which I think is really cool and important. But yeah, I love this song. It's so dainty and it's so cute. I first obviously fell in love with their song Mean It, which was one of her first songs she released. I'm pretty sure I was reading that um, she's been writing since she was very, very young um, and has always been into poetry and writing and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, all the songs she writes are beautiful. I really, 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 really enjoyed singing this song. I love this song a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I hope you all are doing well and living well and I'll see you in the next one.